Alrighty, folks. Let's try this again. Um, we are going to record take two, basically, of my ES themes video. Last time, I, for some weird reason, thought there was only 42 themes when there was, in fact, 74 available themes. Eh, new mistake. Uh, so this time, I'm actually going to show you... I'm going to do the video a little differently because I don't want this to take 45 minutes. But uh, uh, So I might fly through some of the stuff. But I'm going to kind of show you a preview of each theme real quick. Just So this is kind of showcases more of a video preview of all the themes. But I'm also going to um, release an accompanied... Um, Google Sheets document that is going to have a detailed list of all the features and all the stuff this video is going to talk about. So the point of this is going to be to show you all 74 of the themes briefly, hopefully quickly, and um, kind of show you what features they support really quickly. I have 25 systems on mine, um, and I have two collections. So it's going to show you do it support custom collections, does it support themed custom collections, and does it support the all last played and favorite sections. Um, so that'll go over that, and uh, like I said, I will do an accompanying document that will detailed show all the same information that you're going to get from the video. So I hope you enjoy the video, and give me any comments or feedback of what you like and don't like. So first thing we're starting with is Artbook. Uh, you, as you can see, Artbook, I'll tell you, it does everything. It's all games, last played, favorites. It also has custom collections, um, all that kind of stuff. If I go in here to one of the custom collections, you can see here, so I can see what that what it actually looks like. There is video snap support as well. So this pretty much supports the gambit of everything you'd want to throw at it. I have turned off the audio in the background, so you are not hearing the game audio. That is intentional. There's nothing wrong with it. It works fine in my build. I'm running this off a of PC uh, just because I found it easier to pull all the themes and do that. But I do natively run a Raspberry Pi generally, just so you're aware. Um, and these themes all run for the most part pretty cool. There's a uh, pretty good. There's a couple of them that you do have to adjust some of your settings, your VRAM or um, your uh, memory split. I do recommend on some of the more intensive themes. But at any rate, like I said, Artbook does pretty much everything. I do have every variant. That's why I have 74 of them because it's even the four by three versions of the themes. Um, so you can see here's the four by three version again. Same stuff. It does everything. You know, so no surprises there. And let's see, the Pocket version, I believe, is the same setup. I, I think it does everything as well. Yep. It even has the custom, well, custom collections are grouped this time in the, instead of being individual. But otherwise, it supports everything else. It does do video. You're just not hearing it in the background. Um, obviously, I'm running this on a 16 by 9 laptop, so I don't know how it would look in a Pocket screen. So it might actually show you the video. Can't speak to that. Um Big Wood is one that actually supports everything as well. I can fly through this list and show you everything. Like even the most obscure systems like PSP Mini, uh, TurboGrafx 16 CD, it supports them. And Game & Watch. Those are three of the probably the systems you'll notice a lot of them don't actually support. This one supports them all. Plus it has all the common default ones as well as individual um, themed collections as well. And then if I go in here, I'll show you what the list looks like, the video playback. If you don't have a video, it actually has the box art, generally. I don't know why mine's being weird. Now, you can see the box art kind of pop up in the background there before the video plays, which is pretty cool. So you got an idea there. Um, so there's Big Wood. Uh, Carbon, this is a pretty standard one. I think everybody knows Carbon by now, but I'll do it just for you know completionist's sake here. It, it has been updated to support all games, last play favorites, and custom collections. Um, the custom collections are grouped together. We've got a, I'm hearing that back in. I don't know if you're hearing that, the clicks of the different, um, as I'm scrolling through the list, it was a little loud in my headset. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you can go through here. You can see plays video and it's carbon, just updated with custom collection and the default collection support. And, uh, in typical carbon fashion, it doesn't support Famicom. It doesn't support super Famicom. It doesn't support PSP minis. And my TurboGrafx-16 CD, this is a questionable one, because some themed like it TG-16 CD, some like it TG CD. I don't know if they're the same system, and I'm not that versed in TurboGrafx-16 myself, so it could just be that they're two systems, and it supports one, not the other. They could be the same, that one likes one verbiage and one likes the other, but you'll notice a lot of themes don't support that. Uh, carbon centered. The other carbon variants haven't been updated as much as carbon. Like this doesn't have any of the new stuff, uh, collections, same systems are not supported. So no surprise there. And obviously it has a different layout. It's up and down and it doesn't support videos. So 
Let's see. Carbon Nometa. This one actually has been updated more than centered. So it does support custom collections, last played, all that stuff. It just groups them together again. They're not individual, but that's what most of them do. Uh, otherwise, and then it doesn't have the metadata, obviously. So it's just a huge video, which I actually kind of prefer over the metadata. I wish this one was uh, updated a little bit more. Um, well, I guess it really is updated other than individual collections, which is fine. Uh, let's see. Clean look. This is an older one, if I remember correctly. So it hasn't been updated to all the new stuff. Yep. Doesn't have all that stuff. Doesn't even have TurboGrafx-16 or PC Engine, depending on your region. PSP Minis, obviously. Um, Game & Watch. All that stuff. And it also doesn't support video snaps as well. Color Pie. This is another one I believe that hasn't been updated yet. Doesn't have video snaps support or all the systems. No PC Engine again. Uh, no PSP Minis. Game & Watch. There you go. There you have it. Oops. Comic book. This one is crazy updated. His is one of the few. There's, in fact, only nine themes in this whole list of 74. And actually, when I say 74, I say 74 plus two, because I have two that are from the forum as well that I'll show you as a special little bonus in here. Uh, but this is one of only nine that support everything. Like, he has all the different last played all games. He has my collections. Um... The only thing he doesn't do is the default collections. This is, so the, I'm sorry, when I said this is one of the nine, this is, I believe, one of the, like, the 12 or 15. Again, they're in my statistic numbers on my chart I'll, I'll share. Um, this one, the only thing it's missing is the individual themed collections. But it supports everything else. It supports every system. It's one of the few that supports TurboGrafx CD, which is really nice. Um, and I just, this theme's really nice. If you scroll through, you got pretty much all the information shown on one screen. It's nice laid out, that comic book nerdiness factor, which is awesome. Like I said, it's got the custom collection. It just doesn't have individual themed collections, which is pretty rare. Like I said, only nine themes in total support that. So you're not going to see a lot of them do that. And it's mainly the text-based ones, ones that don't require all the crazy art in the background. This is basically the same thing, just with a little bit of a different layout. So no surprises there. Supports all the same stuff. His All his themes are the same. His... Uh, uh, 4x3, his 4x3 SE wheel art, SE wheel art. He has four different variants of his theme, and they all are have incredible support. I don't think he's missing anything in any of them. He's kept them all up to date. Um, the only main difference you'll find, the SE versions um, have wheel art at the top. So you'll notice up at the very top where the name of the game is, it's actually the wheel art, which is pretty cool. Instead of just showing the system, I believe, is what the other ones do. I actually usually run this next one, comic book SE wheel art. Um, because it's the normal resolution. I don't have a 4x3 display, and it supports the wheel art in the background. So if I go to another system here, Atari, you can see it's got the wheel art up there, which is pretty cool. I just like that because it, it shows you, it's literally using video, wheel art, box art, metadata, everything, all in one theme, and it, it works really well. That flickering you may be seeing in the video, I'm not sure if it's coming through. Something with the build that I'm running on my PC, so ignore that. Um, so the next theme up here, all games, last played, favorites, collections, supports everything. This is the CRT theme. So, so you see that, nothing there, nothing to. It does have a couple of systems it doesn't support, like most of the other ones. You can see, da, 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 da. yeah, okay, there you go. So, CRT centered. This one, if I remember correctly, hasn't been updated. So it doesn't have as much support. Yeah, it doesn't have all games, last played favorites, collections. Otherwise, it's the same pretty much the other one. It's just centered and has video support. So uh, Cygnus, this one I think has some of the updates, if I remember correctly. Remembering 74 different themes, that could be fun. Um, yeah, there we go. Last played favorites, all games, custom collections. Uh, that would be TurboGrafx-16 CD. Um, this is one of the whole page ones, like Retro Rama and a couple of them, uh, the other ones. Me, I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, it's just personal preference, nothing wrong with the theme. I just happen to like to see more systems at once. As you can see here, if I scroll through, you get all the metadata, the, um, the logo and all that stuff. Oh, and system support. Let's see how many systems are missing here. Game yeah, & Watch, he actually has that. Um, I assume PSP Minis is probably going to come up and not be supported. Most of them aren't. Oh, PSP Minis isn't. Uh, let's see. So it looks like just that and TurboGrafx-16 CD. So not bad. He's got pretty good system support. Dark. I believe this is another one that hasn't been updated very much, if I remember correctly. Oh, no. Actually, I was wrong. 
<laughs> so it has all the, the custom collections and all that. Again, the couple of systems not it doesn't support PC Engine either, unless I need to rename it. That might be me. Um, Super Famicom, so one that doesn't support Famicom or Super Famicom doesn't support PSP Minis natively. Um, let's see. Uh, Game & Watch. Uh, Famicom. Ooh, what was that? Um, hmm, there you go. Oh, Atari 5200. One of the ones that doesn't have that natively in it either. My arcade is messed up, so ignore that. Uh, that's why the video snaps don't play, but it does support video snaps. Let's see. Eudora. Eudora has a bunch of variants, so we'll fly through those real quick. This is regular Eudora. No video snaps for Eudora, it, but it has been updated to all games, custom collections, Lost Blade. So. Oh, and system support. No TGCD. Da, 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 da. No PSP Mini. And that's it. Eudora Big Shot. So same customization, same stuff that it supports, same systems. It just looks a little different. It's got a big shot instead of the metadata. Concise. Again, I think this is the same setup with a different layout. No, it actually hasn't been updated. So this one doesn't have any updates and has a different layout slightly. But same system support otherwise, no Famicom, Game & Watch, that kind of stuff. All right, Eudora updated. So this one's got a couple of the updates. All games last played favorites, custom collections, same systems not showing, PSP minis and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. And again, no video snaps. Famicom Mini love this theme. Ruckage makes some of the awesomest themes because they're super customizable. Um, he has a couple of systems in the in this one that he doesn't support, like uh, Game & Watch he doesn't support. Uh, Custom Collections hasn't been updated yet. TG16 CD and PSP Minis. But this theme, is I love this theme so much. If we go in here, let's go to Atari here. I like this one because you can fly through the list and you just see the box art, but if you stop on a game you'll actually get the video to play back. So I kind of like that because on the Pi, it makes scrolling through the game list a lot faster. So Flat and Flat Dark are a combo set of two different themes. They actually look a little different. Flat here you can see is an up and down carousel. And there is a good amount. It's going to be hard to see with the darkness, but you'll see as I fly by the systems, PSP minis and that kind of stuff that's not there. Uh, Super Famicom, PC Engine, TurboGrafx CD, and all <laughs> that huge gap was all games last played favorites aren't there. And then if we go in here, this I really like. His layout is really nice. He's got the wheel art up there. He's got a nice layout, metadata, everything in there when it's all there. So nice little theme. And then Flat Dark is the one I actually prefer because I like the, the darker theme inside of it. But he went with this carousel view. Same um, systems that are supported, different carousel view. And when you go into the system, it's darker now instead of white. Mine, I don't know if it's my system or I don't know if it's a bug or a bug something that got broken with an update but when this theme was first released it wasn't like this the logo was in the corner like flat and the video was actually lined up in that box for some reason i it doesn't line up on my pc or on my pi i don't know if it's some kind of bug with the theme but you know uh fundamental if i remember correctly i don't know if this has all the updates this does have the up and down wheel again uh yep you can see the systems that are missing as i walk by them all games last played are not in there um this is kind of a cool one i like it's got the nice big video and Really, I love the big games list. It just makes it easy to read everything. But again, not supported for everything. Doesn't have 5200 or 7800. Whoa. Or Famicom or Game & Watch. So a little less system support. Futura V. Let's see here. Futura V? Uh, anyway, however you say that. Um, so you can see here, it doesn't have the updates for all that stuff. Collections. Uh, you can see the systems that I fly by. Oh, PSP Mini. There we go. Uh, let's see, does he have Game & Watch? He does, look at that. And then we go through, we got nice and clean. Let's go to the system that I actually have video snaps for. Yep, does support video snaps. Does it kind of like wreckages, where if you fly by, you get the box art, and if you stop on it, you get the video. I like that. Uh, Future of Dark V, I believe is the same thing, just darker. I think it has the exact same support, if I remember correctly. If you miss any of these in the video or, or things like that, like I said, um, I will have the accompanying guide that will give you a uh, written version of this. That'll give you all the same details. Uh, let's see, let's go into a system, Super Nintendo, and video support, there you go. 
GBZ35 and GBZ35 Dark are two different themes as well that are custom. They have the updates here you can see. You can go through and see the systems that are supported. Da, 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 da. All right, there you go. Let's go to custom collections. Don't care. This one's kind of cool because I feel like on a small screen would look nice because everything's nice and big and easy. That's pretty cool for that purpose, I think. Um, dark, I'm going to fly through it. It's, I believe it's the exact same thing. He's kept both his up-to-date the same. Yep. Same system's not supported. You just can't see him as well because it's darker. And looks the same, just a little bit different color. Hursty Blue. This is anybody that's used Motion Blue um, as a base for their, their um, one of their images. Uh, David, uh, Marty, and uh, Dwayne Hurst has made this as a collaboration, I believe. So it shows you all the different... Um, this one's a really good layout kind of to show you everything. Like it has everything, literally, with the exception of the themed collections. You get custom collections built together, but because you can see every system is supported here. It's got nice big video playback. It's got awesome artwork. You can see of all the different systems, which is cool. This one supports nearly everything, three out of the four categories. It just doesn't have the themed collections. Uh, Indent, which to me doesn't really bother me. I'll be honest, the custom collection, I usually like them grouped anyway. I'd almost turn that on for a lot of them because your carousel can get crazy otherwise. This one's a little harder to see with the darkness, but you'll see as I go by the systems, all the different systems that aren't in there. All games, last played favorites, obviously no update. Um, Game and Watch, you can see that and all that. We'll go into a system. This one also, yeah, doesn't have video snaps. Let's see. I.O. So you can see the different systems here. I'll fly through. PSP Minis, obviously not there. It's written a little different. Typographic CD. He's got, he's he's labeled a little different. Like it says, my favorites, last accessed, full game list in my collection. But it does support all that stuff, which is cool. Uh, it also doesn't have video support. So no video snaps. A uh, couple systems missing, but it does have the new default collections and custom collections. Kids, this is another David Marty theme. Anybody who has kids that use their uh, Retro Pi, Raspberry Pi, um, this one's really cool because it's very kid oriented. Uh, it supports everything. Like this one even has custom collections because it's just text based. Like I said, most of the ones that support custom collections are text based. Most. Um, some, some that are themed aren't. But anyway, so you can see it's got video snaps, it's got every system. Again, you're going to notice a trend with David Marty and Dwayne Hurst. They support everything in there. So no surprises as I fly by those. Luminous here. As you can see, all the systems here. I'll fly through. A lot of them don't like to support Famicom and Super Famicom natively. They like, I guess, to put all your systems together. I personally like to have them separated. doesn't have all games last played favorites, as you can see. And doesn't have video support. Magazine Madness. This is a uh, Dwayne Hurst theme. So you're going to find no surprise. This one is awesome. Supports everything. This is also a very visually pleasing theme. And it's very, very well done. Um, this theme, um, it goes to like a magazine on the table setup, which is really cool. Like they fly across like this. And this one has the individual collections here. I'll show you if I go back. So you got um, Final Fantasy, Donkey Kong, my two collections represented perfectly. And if you go into the system, you got this nice setup with the box art in the corner, video snap, list. Looks like a cool magazine. So a pretty cool little setup there. Um, this one, uh, and if anybody knows, I don't know if they have their setup by default, but if you go into UI settings, have the transition style instant. That's why I have mine for all these themes. But for this one, it obviously makes it look nice because it transitions across the table like this. But supports everything, so no surprise there. Mario Blue is a newer one, so I believe supports everything as well. Um, once it loads here. My uh, my PC, I guess not like now this many themes on there. But this one, yeah, like I said, supports everything. Individual collections, all the systems, like nothing is not supported here. Um, and then video snaps and everything. So, everything. Material. This one hasn't, um, I think this, was this one updated? I'm not even going to guess. Nope, it has not. Um, and you can see the systems that aren't, that aren't here. Go into a system. Also doesn't have video snap support. Maximus Pi, this is another David Marty theme, so don't be surprised if this one does everything again. All the systems and all games last played favorites. So not that I don't want to spend uh, less time or more time on a certain theme, but these ones 
just don't be surprised. They're awesome. It's don't be surprised in a good way because his supports everything. Video snaps. It's got the logos up there. Great little theme with the one page design. Metapixel, these ones, a lot of the pixel themes haven't been fully updated. Um, so Metapixel doesn't support snaps. It doesn't have, I believe it doesn't have the all games last played in favorites. Yep. And then you can see the systems that it doesn't support natively. Let's see. There you go. Oh, it has Game & Watch now. That's cool. All right. Metro. Let's take a look at Metro. Metro is an up and down carousel. You can see I'll scroll by as the different systems that aren't, aren't supported. But a bunch of under construction ones. That's interesting. Um, and I believe if I remember correctly, when I, did I pass by? I didn't even look as I was flying by so fast. Yep, collection support, all games, last played favorites. And you can see as I scroll through here, it does have video support. There you go. Uh, Mini Lumi. I'm assuming a miniature version. Uh, it doesn't have all games, last played favorites. You can see the systems as I fly by that it doesn't support. And it doesn't have video snap support. Minimal. Minimals are cool, like a newer theme. Uh, it doesn't have Famicom, let's see, PSP Minis, Super Famicom, and TG16 CD, but does have all games last played in collections. And has video stop, stop support. NBBA. If I remember correctly, this is one of the older themes back in the, the setup, so I don't think that this has received a lot of the updates. Um, I'm doing a lot of this off of memory. Oh, yep, and I was right this time. Um, we'll scroll through and see the systems that it doesn't support. Well, natively anyway, like I said, I guess there's some tweaks you can do to make them less jarring and make them kind of look a little more flowy, but won't still fully support. I'm not versed in that stuff, so I'm not sure. Oh, that was loud in my ear. <laughs> it makes noises when you scroll down the list. Uh, and it, no video snap support. NES Mini, again, another Ruckage theme. Um, like David Marty, Dwayne Hurst, and Ruckage, those are probably my three favorite theme makers. They make awesome themes. Ruckages I really love because they're very customizable. This one, unlike the Famicom Mini, does have collections added. So you can see. And again, same setup. When you scroll through, you see the box art. You stop on something, it'll play back the video. Um, and then same system. I believe the same system support as the other one, if I remember correctly, with the exception. Oh, he's got Game & Watch on this one. And he added collections. So a couple extra things over the Famicom one. Pixel, no all games last played favorites, TG16 CD, he's got Game & Watch though, no PSP minis, there you go, there's all that, I'm not sure what it looks like, no video snap support, Pixel metadata, same kind of setup, a little different looking, but same support, missing the same systems. Pixel TFT, this is the, obviously the smaller version of it, made for the smaller screens. So it's just got the big box art, same system support, no surprises there. PlayStation, I believe this is a newer theme, so it does support some of the new stuff. So you got up and down carousel, you got the collections, all games, last played and favorites. You guys, you can see the, the white writing for the systems that don't have the theming stuff on them. So let's go into collections here. You got video support, obviously. There you go. Retro, plot, retro play clean Canela. Wow, say that three times fast. No all games last played favorites. Let's go through the systems here that it supports. I might be going a little fast. Sorry about that. Just trying not to take too, too much of your time. And no video snap support. This is the Detail Canela, Clean Detail Canela. If I'm saying that wrong, sorry. Um, same support, same stuff, just looks a little different in the way it looks. Again, no video snap support. Retro-Rama. This one is really cool. Um, very, very detailed and very, I think, hand-drawn everything in this one. So hand-done and a really, really nice theme. This is a whole page one by Phil's Doodles. As I scroll by, you'll see the ones that are not shown in the theme there. But it does have all games last played favorites. It's a full page one, has a really nice layout for the, the game list. I like this setup. It's really nice, all hand drawn and done differently for each system, which is cool. Shows you best played with in the controller image, which is cool. Um, oh, here, I'll scroll through all the different systems so you can see. There 
There you go. No collections, as you saw there. Uh, Royal Prim Primicia. Primicia? Wow, I'm, I'm saying that. I'm sure wrong. Up and down carousel. So newer style there. No video stop support. Let's see the systems that aren't there. Wait. Was even Nintendo 64 not in there? That's interesting. That's a first, I think. Um, you know, Sega CD, too. So a bunch of systems that aren't here. No collections, but it has all games, locks, played, and favorites. Showcase, this is another David Marty theme, so no surprise this is going to support everything. Um, this is actually one of the nine that literally supports everything. So you can go through and you'll see. I'm not going to waste a lot of time. Like I said, in a good way, this supports everything, 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 even in the custom collections. And you can see here a nice layout that's all set up with the logo and everything. So everything supported there. Simple. So you can see all um, all the systems here. I'll scroll through real quick. It's got nice backgrounds back there. It looks pretty cool. All right. Uh, no custom collections, all game last played and favorites. And no video snap support. Simple Dark, I believe is the same thing, just darker. I think it has the exact same support, same same everything. But we'll fly by it for... Um, completion here you can see there same stuff go through a system just looks dark simple big art scroll through the systems that are supported here you can see that and no video stop support and I believe did I go by the custom collections all game last played yep they weren't supported and no Atari 5200. Simpler Turtle Mini. Scroll through those. You can see everything that's in there. The ones that aren't natively themed. With the black backgrounds, you can see I went through all the common ones. They're not there. And no video snap support. Simpler Turtle Pie. I believe it's basically the same setup, same same customization, or same capabilities, same systems, and are not present. And again, no video snap support. Simplified static canela. So a little different looking of it. The same systems looks like for the most part that aren't supported as the other canelas. And again, no video support. Asinius Mini, another Ruckage theme. This is actually the current one that I run on my Pi. Love this theme because you can customize it. Um, you can choose the background that comes behind the, the systems there. It does support co uh, custom collections, all games, last played favorites. No Game & Watch on this one. Let's see. Scroll through here. You can see everything. His also lets you choose U.S. or European, so you get what system, like what my superintendent looks like here, and what the theme in the background with the buttons at the bottom look like. And again, it does the scroll through fast, get the box, slow down, get the video. So, nice theme there. Space. You can see space and the systems that it supports. All games last played recent. There you go. That's all in there. Let's go by the different systems. Two, 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 two. There we go. Let's go Atari. And it does have video stamp support. Space Oddity. This is a newer theme. Uh, same Phil's Doodles that did the Retrorama theme, I believe. Uh, this one has a support for, I believe, everything but the individual collections. So we go here to last played, favorites, all games. Let's see, custom collections are just grouped together, so they're just not the themed collections. Um, this one has a really big video. If you'd love to have a big, big, big video in the background and pretty much just showcase the video playback, that's what that's awesome for. So there's that one, and it supports every system, so no, um, nothing there. Um, let's see, spare. We'll see as we scroll by here, all games last played favorites not there, and what systems aren't supported. Yeah, there we go. Go into a system. No video stop support. Steampunk is another David Marty theme. So it'll be no surprise this is going to support generally everything. I believe the only thing it doesn't have is the themed collections, if I remember correctly. So you're going to get the custom collections grouped together. Well, every system is always supported on David Marty's theme, so no surprise there. Um, let's see. Let's go. Custom collections, yeah, they're grouped together. So there you go. But all games, last play, favorites, all that stuff's there. Sterling is a Dwayne Hurst theme. Um, I don't know if David Marty helped him build it, because I know he does a lot of the ES stuff, but 
it, it's pretty much made by uh, Dwayne Hurst. He did all the, the uh, customization work and stuff, as far as I know. I might be wrong. Correct me, David or Dwayne, if I'm wrong. But Sterling's another one that really showcases um, the what you can do with the theme and what a lot of the newer features do. His supports everything. All games, last play, favorites, and individual theme collections. And has that really nice layout. Almost like Showcase with all the little boxes and stuff. I like this one. It's really nice. Got the metadata down there. All your games actually had it, like that one there. Um, so I'll uh, support for everything. One of the, the nine that supports everything. Super Display is another one of the nine. Uh, I ran this one for a while before. SNES Mini that supports everything. And it has the up and down wheel style, which I actually happen to like carousel style, sorry, um, that I really like. Um, you'll notice in a sec once it actually decides to load. This one is a pretty hefty theme. It's actually about 526 megabytes on the Pi. I believe it's the largest theme on the Pi. Um, so yeah, it's, it's loaded with a lot of graphical art and the design work and stuff. It reminds me a lot of like a Hursty Blue and um, the things like that, but I just have that crazy work around the video and stuff like that. So you'll, if it decides to load, you'd see that. There we go. So you got custom collections, Final Fantasy, uh, Donkey Kong, and if you go in them, you got the nice big video there with the awesome art in the background. All games, last played favorites. It supports every system. So no surprise there. This is another one, like I said, kind of like a newer version of Hursty Blue. Um, so cool, so cool theme. Let's see, Swatch. This is actually one of the unreleased themes. It's actually still a release candidate, so excuse it for not having support for everything. This actually I downloaded from the forums. So I'll scroll through and you'll see the systems that are and are not natively themed. I'll scroll through here. I, I don't believe it has all games last played or favorites. Oh, it actually does have all games last played, just not collections. Um, and I don't think it has video stop support. No, it does not. So there you go. Uh, Switch Dark and Switch Light, <laughs> sorry, are two themes that are both a pair, uh, themed off of the Nintendo Switch. We'll scroll through and show you the systems that are, are and are not supported natively, themed, or I should say. Um, it does have all games last played and favorites, and it does have video stamp support. Uh, Switch Light is actually the exact same. Um, let's see here. This is made by the same person who made Flat and Flat Dark. I believe Lillabud is his name in the forums, if I remember correctly. I might be saying that wrong, sorry. Um, but video snap support and same system supported. TFT, so we're nearly done. I think we only have a couple more themes to go with here. Um, Atari 2600, you can see the themes that are and are not themed here. Our system, sorry. So I'll scroll through here. Da, da, da. PSP Minis, PlayStation, 32X, CD. Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, Typographic 16. We got collections, all games, last played favorites, all that stuff's in there. And we have video stamp support. Tronky Fran, people love this theme. Love this theme. Like I hear about this theme so much from tons of different videos and stuff I watch. Like ETA Prime talks a lot about it. He really likes it. Um, and it is a beautiful theme, don't get me wrong. It's just super popular. I think it was one of the early ones. I wasn't really in the scene, I think, when this theme was like at its peak because video snaps and all that stuff weren't there at the time but beautiful theme though i mean nice backgrounds and stuff and you can see the systems that are supported here but it hasn't been updated to all games last played collections but it does have video snap support so a little bit of an update to it turtle pie you can scroll through i think this is the same support as the simple turtle pie and a lot of those other variations of the same theme uh, no all games last played favorites collections and all that and no video snap support tv this one's got the up and down carousel style if i remember correctly so you scroll up and down you can see the systems that are and are not themed here da, 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 da. no all games last played favorites it took a little while to get through all those but it does have video stop support there's what the games list looks like uh, workbench, so we're nearly done. We only got a couple left here. Uh, workbench is an older theme, if I remember. Yep, so no snap support. And let's see, we'll scroll through and show you the systems that are supported. No custom collections, all games last played. So there you go. And Zoid, I believe this is actually the last theme. as it's slowly taking us time to load. There we go, there's Zoid. So we'll scroll through these last, last carousel here. I believe this is the last theme. 
to it. Yeah, you go. All know all game last played favorites, and there's the games list with no video stop support. Just for make sure. Oh, PSP Mini. That was the other new one that I put in. I don't know why that went to the end of the list like that, um, but probably because I alphabet or capitalized PSX. So that's probably why I put it at the end. Um, but this one is, again, an uh, only first revision, only from the forums right now. It is not in ES theme, so he doesn't have full systems, but I did write a comment, uh, forum post already. He is working on the all games last played in collections and video support are on his to-do list, so he'll be updating that. This kind of looks similar to what Ruckage's themes look like. Oh, that's really loud in my ear, sorry. Um, so it looks similar to Ruckage's theme. Uh, there was actually some arguments in the forums over him using some of the assets. I won't get into all that stuff that's their business not mine um but kind of has like a more playstation theme and you can actually customize this a little bit so you can choose um the bottom help info down there with the launch and random to change them to be x circle square y whatever like a playstation or to be a b x y like an xbox and then you can make it black or gray for the top and bottom so a little bit of customization some little ruckages um and we're back to our book so yeah i guess in closing here Let's see if I can actually go back and forth. Yes, I can. This will be just a quick, this will give you a quick preview of here. This is going to be the document I'm going to share. That's going to show you exactly what the video is um, going over in um, type view. And, and um, you see this little statistics here on the side. We have nine um, that support all four uh, video snaps, uh, default collections, custom collections, and theme collections. 23 of them have all except the theme, collect, uh, theme collections. 46 to have video support, 37 with default collection support, 36 with custom collection support, and 24 without updates. Um, 76 total themes, 74 that are in ES, and two that are from the forums. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, anything for me, please let me know. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, um, and tell me out what you thought.